Hey everyone, this is Isaac and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the liquify tool in Photoshop. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is select the layer which you want to work with the liquify tool on. Go to filter and press liquify. At first, it looks very complicated with a lot of settings, but don't worry. It's not that complicated. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to start using the liquify tool. On the left side, you have all the liquify tools and on the right side, you have the properties of the brush. The first thing I will cover is the brush tool options. You can select the size, density and pressure. And now I'm going to use the forward warp tool to show you the brush tool options. Size lets you choose the size of your brush. Density controls how dense you want your brush to be. Let me show you an example. If I set it to zero and if I start stretching her eye out, you can see it's not that strong. It's only making an effect from the center of the brush. But if I go to density and put it to 100, it's going to be way more filled out. Pressure is basically the strength of the brush. The higher it is, the more force the brush is going to have. Here is the pressure set to 1. Here is the pressure set to 50. And here is the pressure set to 100. Let's go over the next two tools, the reconstruct tool and the smooth tool. These two tools allow you to undo the modifications you made to the picture. Let me show you. The next tool we have is the twirl tool, which as you can guess, just makes twirls. The next tool we have is the pocket tool, which implodes the selected area. And then the opposite of that, we have the bloat tool, which bloats up your selected area. The next tool we have is the push left tool, which as the name suggests, pushes the selected area to the left. Then we have the freeze mask and the eraser for the mask. What this does is lets you select an area you want to freeze, which means if I want to liquefy this picture now, as you can see, the eyes or the selected mask area, the selected area is not being tampered with. And if you want to get rid of the mask, select the eraser tool and just get rid of it. Let's go back to the right of the screen. Now we have the face aware liquify. These settings allow you to modify a face more freely if there is a face detected on the picture. And as you can see, you have options for the eyes, nose, mouth and face shape. The next thing we have is the load mesh options, which allows you to load other meshes, which means you can use other presets for the liquefying. The next thing we have is the mask options which allows you to invert your mask selection. And the last thing we have is the view options. View options can help you liquefy your pictures with more accuracy. And that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Check the description below for the links of all my socials. And if you have any questions or future video requests, leave them down in the comments below.